Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan and in today's tutorial we are going to be embroidering this hoodie on my NQ1600E embroider machine. This design is 6 by 10 inches and it's super easy so I'm going to show you how to hoop it, uh, how to use a flatbed embroidery machine and all the materials you're going to need. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and of course don't forget to like and subscribe and enjoy. Okay, so let's go over the materials you're gonna need for this project. Of course, you're gonna need your hoodie all ready to go. I use a six by 10 embroidery hoop for this design, and of course, you need an embroidery machine as well. A ruler, embroidery thread. In this project, I'm gonna be using gold, and I use Madeira thread. And then, of course, you need your stabilizer. I use cutaway stabilizer. Um, it's just easier for me to use. A pair of scissors. And temporary adhesive spray, and this is what I use. All right, so the first step is you're gonna cut out your stabilizer. I usually get that all prepped well beforehand. So I'm gonna unscrew this. And make sure your stabilizer is big longer than your hoop. So I can see the top of my hoop right here. So I'm just gonna cut out my stabilizer accordingly. And the bottom is right where my thumb is, so I'm gonna make it larger. Okay, so we're all set with that. And now we're gonna uh, hoop in the stabilizer. and then tighten it as tight as you can um, so it's as tight as a drum. And I also push it in as well so nothing will pop out. And there you go, all hooped, nice and drum-like. All right, now we're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna prep our hoodie. So the first step to prepping your hoodie is to turn it inside out. Now, if you had a multi-needle, you wouldn't have to do this step, but I have a flatbed machine, so I have to flip it inside out in order to embroider on the front. Okay, get the hoodie. All right, so now it's all turned inside out. Um, now what you wanna do is what I usually do for the first step is you want to, let's see, fold it like that, yes. So you wanna fold it in towards the, um, the tag here. So this is the back of the hoodie. So what you wanna do is I usually try to find where the seams meet on the sleeve. So as you can see right here, so I'm gonna match it up with the other side. And again, you want the um, the top of the back of the hoodie to be facing towards you. So try your best to match up those seams and keep it as even as possible. Right now we're trying to find our center point. Okay, so that's that. Looks like this didn't get turned all the way through. All right, so that's the first step is to match up the armpit seams. And then you're gonna wanna match the seams that are at towards the top where the sleeves start. So feel free to push stuff out of the way as you go. And again, try to make everything as flat as possible. As you can see, I have a lot of extra stuff in here Remove that strand of hair and again match up those seams. Okay, and then you're going to want to find the top seam where the hoodie is and match up those seams as well. Okay, looks like we're almost good to go here. Again, making sure all the seams match up. 
which they do. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my hoop again, grab my uh, temporary adhesive um, spray, shake it up, and then I'm going to spray it all pretty well. Okay, so that's all prepped, put that here. And now what I do for my hoodies is I get my ruler, of course, and where this seam is here, of course, you can't see it very well. Let me see if I can pick it up and show you guys. So right here is where I'm going to start measuring, and I'm going to measure four inches down from there, and that's where I'm going to start to put my hoop. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up, which it looks like I didn't. So again, four inches from that point which is right here for me. So I'm gonna mark that with my finger. Grab this, get my hoop ready. And it doesn't matter which side you do because um, either way you can flip your design. So I'm where the four inch mark is, I'm gonna line it up right where my center point is for my hoop. So there's two notches there. So I'm just gonna try to keep this as straight as possible. Push it down. And then with try not to get any wrinkles, push down your hoodie. Okay, so that's all good to go. Now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put my hand inside just to make sure everything is nice and flat and taut. And then I'm gonna slowly move my hand over um, inside so everything is sticky and all nice which it is looks good and then here is the top part of the pocket so everything looks good to go here I'll hold it up for you guys to see so where you're going to embroider is in the saw inside right here and you're gonna move the, the hoodie out of the way so you don't stitch down anything that you're not supposed to. And that's how you properly hoop your piece. So now you're gonna grab your embroidery thread and go to the machine. All right, now you're gonna to want to grab your hoodie and get it all put into the machine. So it's a lot of fabric to deal with, so just try to go as slow as possible. And I didn't mention, but I have the NQ1600E embroidery machine and the largest field it can embroider is six by 10, which is perfect when you're starting out embroidering hoodies and adult items. All right, so that's all hooped. Again, get your fabric all out of the way. Make sure the arms are out of the way as well, which that is. All right, now it looks. All right, so I have the design pulled up on my machine and it's all hooped and ready to go. Now I want to make sure that I have the direction correct for this because if it's flipped upside down, then it's useless. So this is where the hoodie is and this is where the bottom is. So as you can see, I have it put in the machine correctly. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit move and move it all the way up to the top. As far as it can go, and that's as far as it can go. Hit edit end and it'll adjust the machine. So that way it'll be at the four inch mark where you placed your design. So I'm gonna hit embroider. And the first step, it is gonna do the tack down stitch um, or the basting stitch. And then the next step would be the tack down stitch. However, we're not doing any applique fabric. So I'm gonna skip the second step, but I'm definitely gonna do the basting stitch just to get all the stitches all nice and secure. So nothing will move around. And then the next part would be the 2022 part, as you can see. Then it will do the red, which is the lines. And then lastly, it'll do the senior. So for this, I'm gonna do it all in this light gold color. So I'm just not gonna have to do really any color changes, which is really nice. So now let's start doing the basting stitch.
All right, so again, we are gonna skip the next step. So you just hit the plus or minus button, hit plus a color, hit okay. And as you can see, now it's gonna do the set and stitches around the 2022, so let's get started. And again, make sure everything is out of the way so you know it's accidentally stitched in something. So this is how it looks. It looks really great. It's more gold than it's showing up on the uh, camera here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim all these little jump stitches here um, so the customer won't see it. All right, so I just took it off the hoop and you probably can't see, but there are little threads. So I'm going to trim those and then I'm going to trim all around the cutaway since it is a cutaway stabilizer. All right, so that is how you embroider a hoodie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that there's an option to add tender touch on the back of this, so it's nice and soft. However, I don't think it's really necessary, especially since this is a hoodie. Um, it shouldn't really agitate the back of your skin too much. <clears throat> so again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment down below as well of other tutorials you want to see me do. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because I do lots of work with me's and other tutorials as well. So I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.